Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm joined by the Deputy Secretary General of UNCTAD, Joachim Reiter. Joachim, you are a co-sponsor of WISIS. Tell me, in the opening ceremony, you said that we're now at a pivotal moment and it's a pivotal forum. Why did you say that? Well, first, with respect to what we have in front of ourselves, Last year we established huge ambitions for what the world needs to deliver in the next 15 years. From now on it's all about the delivery. We have to move away from the action or the descriptions of the, the ambitions, the aspirations, to concrete actions. This forum, which is truly multi-stakeholder, is a partnership which also Ankta Zen, that I represent, is helping out and, and shouldering the responsibility for. All of us have to come together. What is very important in this forum as well is that we have representatives both from civil society and the private sector, both of which will be crucial actors in order to deliver the Agenda 2030 that we established last year. Governments are not going to be able to do this alone, and this is all the more true when we're dealing with an area of very rapid development within technology. As you say, the clock is now running for the WISIS action lines to actually meet these 2030 sustainable mm. development goals. In your field, in trade, what's the state of play? Well, UNCTAD is actually uh, it's a mix of various issues that relate to trade. One is trade policy proper. Second is investment, where you have private sector investment, both foreign as well as domestic resource mobilization. Third, we are dealing with this science, technology and innovation including the Commission for Science and Technology for Development of the United Nations family as a whole. And then on top of it, we're dealing with the ICT issues, which are really at the focus here. So we are trying to treat these issues in an integral way. You can't really differentiate the issue from trade from ICT, for example. Today, we're at the verge of a revolution in the manner in which we trade with each other, how companies trade with each other. And therefore, ICT allows a completely different form of connectivity between businesses and markets. This is what we have to unleash and tap into this potential in order to really spur trade growth and allow the full integration of developing countries, their small businesses as well as rural communities and women into becoming beneficiaries of the global trading system. And how do we ensure that the developing countries, the least developing countries, do actually get some of the benefits and the dividends of connectivity and that they're not going to lag behind too much the advanced markets? Well, the reality we're living in is, is that a lot of developing countries are trying to tap into this, but they're struggling with the digital divide. It is both on the hardware front, as well as the soft infrastructure, the skills development, the regulatory frameworks that you need to have in place, the payment solution, the banking system upgrading that you need to have in order to unleash the power of e-commerce, which is really the, the connection between trade, traditional trade, and ICT. So at UNCTA, we're looking at to create a consortia involving all international organizations, all the major donors in the areas of ICT and trade, as well as the private sector actors, where we actually sit down together and say, if a country has a particular ambition on e-commerce, we will say, well, I can do the payment solution, someone else can do the le legislative frameworks, someone else will do SME training and awareness building, so as to have a, a concerted response that allows for full scaling up, which is really what is needed in order to bridge this divide. And it's not just economic inclusion, it's also social inclusion and of course unleashing the potential of women and girls. Absolutely. I mean one of the big disasters of economic growth is the fact that we're underutilizing 50% of the world's population. I mean it's, it's actually not, nuts to have economic policies along those lines. But that's the reality. Beyond that, we also have a divide increasing in developing countries between urban communities where you have a greater uptake on, say, for example, ICT and rural communities. And in rural communities, that's where you have the most poverty as well as where you have most of the women locked in traditional patterns of production. ICT provides these wonderful opportunities to bridge the divide between rural and urban as well as between less developed countries and richer countries. And therefore, you have a vehicle by which you lift women and girls out of this situation that they're currently finding themselves in, economically as well as socially. Joachim Reiter, Deputy Secretary General of UNCTAD, thank you very much for talking to us today. And of course, as you say, the clock is running for 2030. And do please tune in to the ITU 
YouTube channel because over the week we will be talking to some of the experts, ministers, civil society who are all here at the WISIS Forum 2016.